Uh, okay, well, my name is Jesse Lazart. Um, I'm a photographer and uh, I grew up between New York City and Sydney. Well, I started pretty young, actually. I think I was like eight or nine years old when I had a camera in my hand. I was part of an after-school photography club. We would go around and we'd take pictures and we would develop them in the dark room. And, but it wasn't until later in life that I really like thought about it as a, as a vocation. So I, I keep just saying like, so far, so good. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere. So I sort of gravitated towards people on the fringes or subcultures, you know. I guess that's just where I felt most comfortable. Shooting the Yakuza was difficult for me because obviously there was a language barrier. There's still like a lot of social stigma against tattoos in Japan, so a lot of these guys are used to just being completely covered up. I shot Ben Simmons, the basketball player, GQ cover. There was a shot where I had him basically like dunking on me. He was just flying through the air. At one point he almost came down on top of me and crushed me and I would have been like, for sure, in a wheelchair. That was kind of a pinch me moment, I guess, because I, I grew up playing basketball. And I think tattoos with meaning is really cool and everything, but for me, I, I don't have any meaning to any of them. I mean, you know, it's like, it's a skull with a knife through it. I can't really tell you what else that means. When I was 17 or 18, I worked in the Carhartt store in, in the galleries. I just remember a lot of shifts I was hung over and there's these big glass windows that uh, almost go like 360 around the shop. It's great for people watching, because it's how I'd pass the time just folding Carhartt pants and watching people. 